Hell for Carl Sullivan. I saw the best minds of my generation destroyed by madness, starving, hysterical, naked, dragging themselves through the Negro streets at dawn looking for an angry fix. Angel-headed hipsters burning for the ancient heavenly connection to the starry dynamo in the machinery of night. Who poverty and tatters and hollow-eyed and high sat up smoking in the supernatural darkness of cold water flats floating across the tops of cities contemplating jazz. Oftentimes he'd come off stage and, and vomit with the, with the sort of stress. As I recall, he'd often finish a performance taking his clothes off, not to flash or see if he had any takers in the crowd, but seemingly just to say, there's nothing here, folks, to be afraid of. I mean, all it is is a physical body, which we all variously have. Who howled on their knees in the subway and were dragged off the roof, waving genitals and manuscripts. <laughs> Who let themselves be fucked in the ass by saintly motorcyclists and screamed with joy. I was in the audience, and uh, when I went home that night, I uh, uh, sent a telegram uh, to Alan. Um, I greet you at the beginning of a great career. When do we get the manuscript? Friendly Getty urged me to print it, and uh, I said, oh, well, why not? So I sent it to my family, and they said, okay, why, are you gonna, why do you need all these dirty words, but it's a great poem? <laughs> Censorship has often been good for poetry. You yourself had the good fortune of having Hal banned by the U.S. Customs in 1957. That created a lot of publicity yeah. and probably sold a lot of books. Oh, yeah, I, I have to thank them completely for my fame for <laughs> the police. We were quickly identified by the media as a dangerous revolution. The censorship trial against City Lights and Lawrence Ferlinghetti and his bookseller, who was also arrested in the case, really centered on a couple of important issues. One was the very simple issue of whether or not one could use an obscene word like fuck in a poem and have it, well, later on read over the radio, which is still continuing. Others, of course, um, issues were the fact that Ginsburg was um, talking openly about his homosexuality and his drug use. The judge ruled that, quote, in order for a work of art to be judged obscene, it had to have no redeeming social significance. And it was cleared. What? Sphinx of cement and aluminum bashed open their skulls and ate up their brains and imagination. Moloch. Moloch, solitude, filth, ugliness, ash cans and unobtainable dollars, children screaming under the stairways, boys sobbing in armies, old men weeping in the parks. I asked him about some of these images. Well, where do these images come from? He said, oh, he was completely stoned. Moloch, Moloch, nightmare of Moloch. Nightmare of Moloch, Moloch the loveless, mental Moloch, Moloch the heavy judger of men. Moloch, whose eyes are a thousand blind windows. Moloch, whose skyscrapers stand in the long street like endless Jehovah's. Moloch, whose factories dream and croak in the fog. Moloch, whose smokestacks and antennae crown the cities. Moloch, whose love is endless oil and stone. Moloch, whose soul is electricity and banks. Moloch, whose poverty is the specter of genius. Moloch, whose fate is a cloud of sexless hydrogen. Moloch, whose name is the mind. Moloch, whose name is the mind. 